everybody today we're going to be taking a look at the Vizio Battle Sharks claims it has a long battery life but we'll see right so let's uh get it out of the box and check it out all right here it is out of the box got the quadcopter got your transmitter you got your little notice before takeoff card that sliding over the transmitter like that got your bag of stuff spare props give you a whole set screwdriver uh, the charger was in there good stuff prop guards all that good stuff which I don't use but anyway the charger plugs into the wall the light goes on uh, when you plug it in it goes on red when it's charging when the charging's done the light goes out so you know it has a 1800 milliamp hour battery which is double the size of the original one the original one was a 900 because I have the original one haven't flown it for a while but I still have it right there 1800 milliamp hour which is good that's a nice solid battery now I did notice on mine uh, by the way this is courtesy of GearBest Com, so thanks GearBest for sending this out. We're just going to pop the battery in here. I think it goes in this way with the label up. Yeah. Um, it's got the dual camera positioning. And on mine it has this spot for a, a micro SD card, but it doesn't work. It must be a fake slot you know how some of these quadcopters I have the model with the SD card you know they'll have the higher resolution camera they'll put the SD card in the slot in there but this one I don't believe has that because I tried to put a uh, micro SD card in there and it doesn't do anything it just it's like it's pushing in on some glue or something that's in there so we'll see and the camera's tiltable right here you can see that it tilts out to like 45 degrees, something like that. I would just turn it down a little hair, not too much. Yeah. So, yeah, it looks good. It looks good. I'm, th I'm sure the flight time on this thing is going to be good because it's, you know, I don't think it's that heavy, to be honest with you. 158 grams with the battery in so you know that's not too bad with an 1800 milliamp hour battery I'm sure the flight time will be good but I did notice on mine even though it says on the box it's the battle sharks edition I don't have the 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 growling teeth on here like uh, I seen a couple of the other ones have there was no stickers or anything in there that I could put that on so I guess I have the Battle Shark Edition with no teeth. <laughs> okay, the Toothless Shark Edition. Here's the manual. The manual's laid out real nice. Explains everything in here, how to do everything. Tells you about the charger, how to put on the prop guards. You know, all the fun stuff. But everything's in here that you'll need to get it airborne. Here's the QR code for the app. Now, when you do, if you have iPhone, if you when you do the QR code it goes to an alternate website and it's in Chinese but you just hit the what would look like the OK button and then it'll transfer you back to the App Store to get the app so that's how you do that and then here's this little card they put over the transmitter it just shows you how to bind it and how to calibrate the gyro okay so all you do with the bind it would you be you would turn it on up and down to bind it up and then down and out like this to calibrate it, which I'm going to show you here in a second. We're going to turn it on because I want to show you the app. Oh, it takes uh, three AA batteries, which go in here. You know, of course, it has that dastardly screw, which I'm not going to show you removing it. It's a screw. You undo it and open this lid and put the three batteries in. Very simple stuff. So anyway... We're going to turn it on. We're going to turn on the transmitter. It's going to flash. And now we got it bound. Now to calibrate the gyro, you just 
the level calibration. Just pull the sticks down and out and hold it until it beeps. And so it'll be calibrated like that. So let's fire up the app. I guess it's going to be this one down here where it says M8720P. So we'll go with that one. Let's fly over here to the app, which is right here. It's called XS Visual. Let's fire that up. And there it goes. Hey, right there. It looks pretty clear. I actually it started recording already. Okay, it's asking me for the permissions and all that stuff. Okay, so if you wanted to fly it with this, you could, which I'm not going to because I hate flying with these phones. Oh, the app crashed. Well, that's not good. But get the couple crashes out of the way to get it over with. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, it says on here you can scale the view by going like that. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that in one of these toy quadcopters. Now, it lets you scale the view, but it doesn't let you position the view. Okay, so I don't know how good that's going to work out. But anyway, as far as the transmitter goes, it's pretty straightforward. Here you take off. Here's the emergency stop. The takeoff and land is on the same button. Here's the emergency stop. Here's the power button. There's the return to home. There's the headless mode. Here's the trims right here. Then there's the rate button. And there's the flip button right there. And, it, and it's labeled. It says flip and it says speed here. Uh, it says, or it doesn't have, it just has an H on there, the return to home, and then the headless mode there. So, let's check the rates. It has three rates, so that's good. Good, good, good. So it seems to be holding a lot better now, so I guess we got that crash out of the way. The, the video on here actually looks very clear from what I'm seeing on here. A lot clearer than most of these uh, these types. Okay, well, let's go do the important thing, which is fly it. <laughs> because that's what really matters, right? If it flies and the video works, that's what matters. So let's go do that. All right, guys. <laughs>